This is uh, well, Bob Taylor. I didn't mind it, but I thought, what, 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 give me a keyword. Okay. Um, a spaceship lands on the On the farm field. in Sulphur Springs. And what was the um, was the visitations or um, the UFO that landed part of uh, okay yeah. then when the UFO that we now know or my memory mm -hmm. I was in college okay I graduated from high school in 1953 in 1955 I was working on my BA and then MA and I commuted the nine miles from the college to the University of East Texas State University in Commerce, now Commerce A&M. My aunt looked out and she said, oh my Lord, an airplane is landing <laughs> in our pasture, in our best pasture. It will ruin all of the grass and knock down some of the trees. And then she said, no, it came down like a helicopter. Mm -hmm. That's how they move. I could see it in my mm -hmm. mind. And then she said, the wings are out. She said, I saw no wings when it was landing. But said, I guess I was so amazed that it was landing and why would it land? So she got up and walked out. And this man got out, only one person, a man. And said he was about six foot tall, you know, like her daddy, mm -hmm. six foot seven. And said, it wasn't any kin folks, didn't look like anybody she knew, but wasn't and he spoke very good English and he said that his fuel, he didn't say he was out of fuel, he said my fuel tank was sputtering and I need to adjust it. And so he messed around mechanically like he was doing something and she said, will it go back straight up like it came down? Yes it will. I won't ruin any of your trees or your grass. In fact, after they left, there was not much of an indenture of where it landed. So I don't think it ever had anything wrong for the weight of it. I think when it landed, it was still up off the ground. Or it would have been an indenture of where the wheels or whatever was there and would have ruined a lot of grass, prairie grass that was grazing. So there was no harm. So, so when he came out, and did he speak to you further or just work on his? Chest? He strictly spoke to my aunt. Okay. She was ahead. She was the one. But you were there? I was on the porch. I did not go. My grandmother said, don't you go. She said, there's something strange about the airplane. She said, the strange that they have landed. Strange. Strange that, the, that they would land. That was mm -hmm. the way my grandmother put it. And then she hugged me. She said, you have too many things to do that I've dreamed. She said, you know, I waited 50 years for you to be born. <laughs> she said, I don't want to lose you in my lifetime. She said, there's something strange about them. I don't think they're going to hurt Lena or anybody. They're not coming for that. But there's something strange, and I don't want you in on it. And I love my grandmother too much ever after learning about the terrible thing that had lasted for 50 years. I never crossed through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then what happened? He, he spoke to your aunt and repaired his craft? My aunt would refer to it much later. Mm -hmm. She said there was something very strange about that airplane, why that airplane could land that way. Mm -hmm. And she said, I went later and there was no indenture. And my aunt said, no. I said, well, I saw where it was. It was on the way to the pool. It was closer to the pool. Mm -hmm. They were. They did something at the pool. Hmm. And he, he gave her some coins to make up for landing on the property or something? Yeah. You know, he said, well, if I damaged anything, and he put it that way, if I damaged anything, well, see, the, the plane was still levitating, evidently. It was levitating. Because, see, there was, it would have made an indenture. Right. Mm -hmm. And I would have been able to say, well, there's where the wheels were. Right. And there's where the... No, it was there was, no, well, it was um, <laughs> there was no proof that it landed. What was the year? Oh, um, 53? Wait a minute. I graduated from high school in 53. I graduated from my degree in 55. That was probably... No, it was college. That was probably March. It was still a little cold weather. Nippy. March of 50... 50 what? 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 
Oh, wow. A lot of settings <coughs> in the good days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. March Did it make a sound when it went up? No. Mm -hmm. Did any air blow out of it when it went up? Mm -hmm. okay. None of the trees were whipping down. So that was the next thing my aunt said. <coughs> oh, some of our trees are hundreds of years old. It'll, it'll run the tops of them. You know, when they go like on. Like a helicopter up. or something. It yeah. had wings that and, came out of it. And there it. was no wind. The, the trees were not flapping back and forth and maybe break off. Mm -hmm. What color lights did it have? Oh, my. Well, it was daybreak. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was. I was getting ready to drive on to school. Mm -hmm. um, Who's college? I had to be there at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. All right. So it was early. Yeah. Um, it was silvery, the ship. Mm -hmm. You know, like all out of uh, aluminum. Okay. I mean, that was what we laughingly said. It must be an aluminum ship. It more looked like more like. Did it aluminum. have lights? Lights? Mm. At that time, at that it was it was good enough daybreak. They didn't need lights. Yeah, it, with the wings the that came out, up. did it, did they appear to be part of the ship, kind of, or did, were they a separate color? Or? Well, the ship was all one color. It looked like the, well, I was way off. Oh yeah. Half of the pasture away from it. Yeah. Uh, I was on the porch, mm -hmm. you know, kind of doing like that. I mean, I wanted I wanted to go with Aunt Rena so badly. Yeah. And I told my grandmother, what if she needs me? What if they're a little belligerent? Oh, Aunt Rena <laughs> <laughs> carried a rifle. Ah, <laughs> I, knew, she was ready. I knew there was something else. Yeah. She was always, see, the turkeys were now fed for the morning, mm -hmm. and they were now going on the range. And she had a rifle to kill a, a wolf if it came to get one. They would come and get one every morning. And she would shoot at them and then they would leave. Mm -hmm. What they would do is come and get one and eat it and take it to the den and regurgitate it for the little ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. My aunt would usually be on the porch where I was. And when one actually had a big turkey, she would wait until it was running full force. And my grandmother would be out there, and my grandmother would hysterically almost say, let us shoot the damn thing, and she didn't cuss much. It's going to get away. She would say, do you think I not know what I'm doing? <laughs> so I'm waiting till he's running real fast in his heartbeat. When I shoot him in the heart, he's going to have so much blood all over him that the other dozen wolves will eat him and then eat each other and we'll kill 12 wolves with one shot. <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough, I mean, she'd be like this. I'm waiting until he gets to going really fast. I'll get that heartbeat going. That's too funny. And then she'd shoot him in the heart. Oh. <laughs> and he'd be there dead and half eaten because then they smell so much blood that about 12 wolves would come and eat oh. on him and eat on each other. Oh, and wow. they would kill many of each other. Hmm. and then go back to the den to feed the little ones. Yeah. So at least we were getting rid of a few big ones. And Lana knew what she was doing. That's back to that ship. Okay. In a way, she knew what she was doing. She had a rifle. Mm -hmm. So she knew she had killed the, the bastard. I mean, bad. that's what she would say. Yeah. If that bastard had tried to, had put his hands on my breast and pulled me on the ship, he would have been kicked and shot. <laughs> you know, that's what she said. He would have been kicked and shot. She said, I would have kicked him you know where, and I would have shot him everywhere. <laughs> so she said she was, he was a gentleman? Gentlemanly? I bet he, he must have read her mind. <laughs> but, but he had a on her. Yeah. She said he was a nice person. You know, said I had no. She, she spoke said, of it later. What did she say later about it? Just oh, she know. said when he got out of the ship, he was a gentleman. Oh. You know, well, hello, ma'am. You know, he didn't know her name. Yeah. But I bet he did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looking back on it, he said, "Ma'am, my my ship was sputtering. I've got to make an adjustment." And he acted like he was. She said he didn't do much tinkering. He looked at the pool. There was something about the pool. Hmm. Chlorine, water, something. You know, our watering pool. It wasn't mm -hmm. a big one. It wasn't spring fed. Wasn't anything real special about it. What was under it? I don't know. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> it, was, it was the best place in the world to go frog it in. Mm. Big old green frogs, real big ones, so you could catch and have a good frog 
legs and back for the next battle. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure it wasn't that what he came for. Mm. I don't guess. Well, he didn't go frog digging, but he came to look. That's what she said. He said, he looked at my pool. Hmm. Wow. And, we, and, there, and it wasn't anything different from other pools. Yeah. Yeah. So he gave her some gold coins and left, huh? Yeah, I paid her some money. Okay. You know, for, for anything I've ruined, ma'am. I mean, he said he was very gentlemanly mm -hmm. and said, uh, I would have liked for him to have been a neighbor. You know, I mean, he was so nice about it. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. So she never had any reason to call the sheriff, you know, to make anything about it. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother, when she came back and was telling all that, she said, well, we were worried about you. Yeah. Said Bob was really worried. Wow. Wow. And I was, because I don't know why.